stand your ground law? Bertram Marks, the attorney, the general legal counsel for the Council of Black Pastors. Bertram. My brothers and sisters, I greet you in love and with peace. Today we reclaim our neighborhoods. Today we reclaim our identity as a black man with a young son who's 19 years old. I'm appalled at what has happened. As a black man who's also an attorney, I cannot fathom one legal reason why this killer was not brought to justice. It defies all logic. It defies all common sense. It defies the very law that those who are derelict in their duties in Florida, the very law they invoke, the actions of Mr. Zimmerman are contrary to that law. Let me break it down just a little bit. We're going to go to law school here today. In Florida, just like in Michigan, there is a stand your ground law. My young brothers and sisters, the reason we keep telling you to vote is not because it sounds good. We keep telling you to vote because you have to understand the laws that are impacting you every day. If you don't know the way the law was written, if you can't understand and interpret that law, if you're placing people in legislative bodies that don't understand you, that don't respect you, that never walked in your neighborhood, that see your son as a criminal and not a child of God, if they don't know that just because you're wearing a hoodie doesn't mean you're going to break the law, my son's in college, wears a hoodie every day. But you have to have people who understand you. But I digress. Let's go back to law school. The law has two very important elements. The elements of the law require you to use excessive force if and only if, if and only if, you honestly and reasonably believe that you are in imminent danger or you are in danger of great bodily harm. Now, you don't need to be a college professor. You don't need to even have a high school. In fact, one of my six or seven year old nephews can tell you that if somebody is running away from you, there is no way you could be in imminent danger or harm. We will not allow, we will not allow the powers that be to take a bucket of water and pour it over our heads and tell us it's raining. Today, we reclaim our identity. Today, we reclaim our knowledge of the law. You've all been to law school just now. Didn't take you very long, but I can tell you, you all got a 4.0. We won't rest until we get justice for Trayvon Martin. Let's be proud of them. Everybody that has stood up for this young brother, let's be proud. And I echo the sentiments as I close. Of everybody else who has said today and who will say today that let this be the wake-up call that we need to stem the tide of violence in our own neighborhood. It doesn't have to be either or. We're speaking up and out against violence in any form. And it doesn't matter whether you're Zimmerman from Florida or Johnson from Detroit. If you murder an innocent, then you must be held accountable. God bless you. State Law Rep. Thomas Stallworth, State Representative of the 8th District. 